I guess I'll be the only girl in my town with one. You're nervous. Yes. You shouldn't be. It's a much simpler procedure than the surrogacy. I assure you. My father and my brother have one. I remember they said it was nothing. Yes, it's easy. Not too invasive. Can you get sick? Sick. I saw a video of people getting sick. They were going crazy. Foreign objects in their bodies, some kind of rejection. Sure, that can happen with anything, but we've covered all that in your tests. I assure you, it's safe. Really? Believe me, I know a lot about that kind of reaction to H+. Of course, I didn't mean to question your medical knowledge. No, I mean it happened to me. You? Wait, you don't have H+. No, I don't. It must be very difficult for you. I can imagine it's a very helpful tool in your field. Doctor? Doctor? I'm sorry, say again? I said it must be very difficult for you not having H+, plus, you being a doctor and all. You can't imagine how difficult. I envy you, Lena. It's an amazing technology. It will attract every process of your body and the child's. And I'll be able to listen to music, and watch movies, and maybe even tonight I'll watch them thus. No, not yet. The implant will take about a week to engage. And you have to be careful not to stray out of reception over the next month. You'll have to stay connected. Otherwise, its relationship with your nervous system will be severed. Think of it as a fresh wound that would close up quickly. Like an ear piercing. Exactly. And it would take time for the implant to establish that relationship again. So if I'll be able to communicate with others, the Sheehans, using H+, can they know my thoughts? Can they know what I'm thinking? No, the software won't allow it. OK, but what if the You're software... wrong. Excuse me? I'm sorry. Uh, I meant, see? Implanted. See how easy that was?